Hi folks, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, tag logging. This is a really old feature. In fact, this uh, feature was added more than three years ago. Uh, so the question is that why I'm talking about this now. I'm talking about it because I don't see it being used enough. Uh, so before we see it in action, first let's see why we need this. So here I have a standard Rails application. This Rails application has been uh, copied from Big Binary Wheel. Uh, this is how we spin up any new Rails application. It has some uh, standard bootstrapping stuff. And uh, we got, we have the app running on the port 3000. We just go and hit refresh the page. And now let's look at the log. So we see the log. And no big deal this is a standard rail stuff however this could be an uh, a problem here the, the way the log is presented if uh, the log is uh, getting the data from uh, many different uh, uh, instances of uh, rails for example in the you might be using unicorn in production where you have five instances running but you have a single log and now you want to stack to go through the traces of a single request. So you want to see the whole life cycle of a single request and that uh, becomes quite difficult because of the inter uh, weaving of uh, the log from different, uh, uh, different requests. So one way to solve the problem is, is this uh, tag logging feature which I can enable here by just adding this a single line in an initializer. So all I have to to do is config dot log tails subdomain UUID. So what it does is that it puts the UUID in the log. So let me stop the server and I'm going to restart it. Now let's go to the so now let's go back to the log and now in the log you can see this long number so this is the uuid and this is this is this number we can use to see the life cycle of the request so all we have to do is go to a log and search for that request id and we will be able to uh, find out everything all the log related to this particular request id so this is good but how do i know when the log is so much is interweaving that what is the uuid of my request so for that what uh, we can do is we can look look at the response header so here i'm going to open up the chrome web development tool and let's make one more request first let's clear it and make sure that you are on the network tab refresh the page now let's go to localhost here and let's look at the headers uh, specifically look at the response headers in the response header you will see x request id and there is a value x request id and this is th the value that is telling you that for this response this was the x request id was used for generating this response and all we need to do is copy this x request id go over uh, to the log and search for it so that's a good usage of x request id and that's a good usage of tagged logging in our applications we use honey badger to detect in case there is an, an exception and we also pass this honey badger to the honey badger the request uuid so let me show you how that works so here i am in the application controller and we have uh, a before action set honey badger context so in the honey badger context we pass the hash we generate a hash with the uuid request.uuid and then if the person is logged in then we also pass in the user id and the email address and then we call honey badger dot context hash okay so how a so now what will happen is that in case there's an, an exception 
then in the exception report that honey badger will present to us we will have the request uuid and all we need to do is go to the log and and search for that uuid so in order to give the uh, demonstration of it what i'm going to do is i'm going to raise an error here in the about section and honey badger is there i have already set up the honey badger key and everything and this looks good now let me push this application to Heroku and uh, uh, we will see the exception that will be generated. Since pushing to Heroku will take some time, so I'm going to pause the video and I will restart the video when the application is up on Heroku. Okay, so the application is running on Heroku. The URL is wheel-uuid.herokuapp.com and if we refresh the page, we can once again go to the network. We can look at the this request and we can see the response. We are getting the request ID. This is the request ID. Okay, now let's go and in, I also have the Honey Badger uh, project wheel and right now there are no errors okay so now i'm going to click on about this should throw an error which is right i got the error if you click here you still got the response header and you have the request id this one uh, now let's go to error and here let me refresh the page and now we have an error now i go i get uh, I'm seeing the details page for the error and here you will notice that context so in the case of context I got the UUID and this UUID is same as the UUID which I'm seeing here E0F4 E0F4 exactly so so this UUID is um, very useful not only for exception uh, monitoring cases it is also useful when there is no exception but you are doing some kind of performance tuning because in the case of of performance tuning you want to see the full life cycle of the request but there is no exception there uh, you want to see all the uh, sql queries that were made by that request or all the f the view views uh, partial views that were loaded so in such cases uuid is very useful. That's all for this video. I will see you next time. Thank you.